Hello. Hello, welcome back to the last Disney vlog, the last one. Rubbish. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching all these vlogs. Seriously, it has been a blast making them and I can't believe we're at the end of our trip. But today is our last full day and we've been hit with a tornado warning. Bit of a so, weird one. A complete turn. If you've watched the vlogs, you would have seen the weather's been glorious every day for us. We've been absolutely blessed and we so had, lucky. We had rain for about 15 minutes on our second Hollywood Studios day. Yeah. But apart from that, light rain. Perfect, lovely, gorgeous. It's been incredible. So we have prepared for the rain today. So we've actually got our park pass for Animal Kingdom. And if it's not great, we're just going to go over to a hotel and do resort hopping. But we've also just managed to snag a Steakhouse 71 dinner reservation for 5.30 tonight. We did have breakfast for tomorrow morning, but we figured that's our last few hours in the park yeah. and we don't want to waste it. Let's do an Animal Kingdom day and then we'll take you along for Magic Kingdom tomorrow and our travel home. Oh, it's a little bit muggy, still dry. It's definitely jumper weather though, isn't it? It is. I've got a little zip up, which I'm happy about. But we're taking the bus to Animal Kingdom this morning. For those of you that didn't know, this is my favourite park. What's your favourite park now? You've done them all again. It's at Christian Universal Studios. No, if that's your favourite. It's just got the best roller coasters, hasn't it? You like a big ride. I like um, probably maybe Hollywood Studios for Disney. Yeah, I can see why that's your favourite. Toy Story. Toy Story. It's got Star Wars. Yeah. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It's got the Indiana Jones show that I really like. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd say probably that one. That makes the most sense, yeah. And also with Fantasmic. Oh, Fantasmic was brilliant. Yeah, yeah I agree. Um, that show is incredible. As well, I so. agree. Here we are. This is what it's looking like. It's weird, it's like kind of bluey grey, kind of breezy. You always sense it in the air. Can't yeah, you? I'm so happy we're spending our last day here. Normally we spend our first day here, and now we're doing our last full day here. Always do Magic Kingdom the day we leave. Oh, I just love it. Hopefully it's not too busy today. Oh, oh, thank you. I questioned if I booked the right place today. <laughs> it didn't work for a second, I was worried. Ah, oh, the atmosphere is so lovely. It's like coming on, uh, coming into port in the Caribbean. <laughs> With the seal drummers. Yeah. Look at him. Awesome. Big smile. And roar like a lion. <laughs> We're going to Pongu Pongu, which is this tiny little hut here. Ooh, I didn't know that they changed the menu. They've got French toast sticks in the morning. I also have a sausage, egg and cheese. They're calling it a biscuit, so is that a scone? That's not going to be a muffin, is it? They didn't have any French toast sticks, sadly, so we just got what they had, which was these little um, cinnamon rolls, I guess. My favourite, the Pongu Olympia, which, by the way, is very Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. I love it. I didn't really like it, did I? You don't love it. And then Benji got a sausage and egg. There's like a sausage and egg with muffin. Fine. So I've been thinking about it and I still think I rate Topolino's Terrace Character Breakfast a smidge higher than Tusker House, but I love Tusker House Character Breakfast here as well. In Animal Kingdom, I love all the details, like these little posters that they have everywhere. Just the like feel of it all. It's just is so, so cool. Every sign, every bit of like detailing. Just look at this. I know it's simple, but to me, this is what makes it my favorite park because I just think the Imagineers and their imagination behind every detail is just magic. I love the lights, I love the theming, I love how it blends easily. I love the variety of shows and characters and I just think it's a fantastic park. The only thing that Animal Kingdom is really lacking right now is a nighttime show on the water and they got rid of Kite Tales, which is pretty sad. I really wanted to see that. I imagine they are working on something for the evening um, or day, something they can have on the water because they've got that lovely area to sit down. But that's the only thing I think Animal Kingdom is really lacking. But I do find some really great merch. I think the food's really good here. Apart from we didn't have a great Yak and Yeti quick serving experience the other day. But I think Nomad Lounge and Tiffin's will be high on my list for next time. One or the other. This is the park I could happily just stroll around all day and not do any rides. Like I could just soak up the atmosphere. I just think it's so pretty. Ooh. That character's coming. Oh my gosh. See what I mean? I've just waiting for Benj. And then hello, Doug and Russell. Benji is out there. <laughs> Happy holidays. Hi. <laughs> it's so cute. To festive adventures. 
just as they're going around the corner. I can see the raindrops on the water and I can feel them on my back. So we've done pretty well to get to half 11, I think, but we'll see what the safari's like. I actually think the safari in the rain might not be a bad idea because it's cooler. Some of the animals might come out, but it also could mean some of them might go in, obviously. So we'll see, it means we'll be undercover. Yeah, I'm prepared. I'm prepared. I've got my umbrella. I'm in a dress I don't mind getting soaked. I've got trainers on that can get wet. Benji's putting his jacket on. <laughs> and actually this is quite handy, this jacket, because it's got pockets so I don't have to carry my phone awkwardly like this. I'm gonna give you a little tip. If you get to a ride and they tell you you can go either side, left or right, or if on the Skyliner there's lanes, left or right, whatever, always take the left because people's dominant is usually their right, right-handed, and they want to go right, and most people will go right. So left is quieter. I don't having a nice nap. Steve has ears moving around. Rhinos have really poor eyesight, but excellent hearing. They can be up to eight feet tall, even though they can't fly. They can run up to 40 miles an hour. Oh, wow. We've got a gorilla as such a Texas thing. Look at him. Eight on the other side, three on this side. Wow. Just hiding under the rock, sleeping. Oh. That's great. What a cutie. I will say the safari was actually fine in the rain. We still saw quite a lot of animals, as you would have seen. But I think the best time to do it is on a nice sunny day, first thing in the morning when they feed them or at sunset. I think either first thing in the morning or in the evening, but it was, nice it was raining, to, so. Nice to get out of the rain though, wasn't it? it was completely nice. covered, so. Yeah. We have never done this. We've never been to Rafiki's Planet Watch, which I feel like is oh, a yeah, crime. It's, park, isn't it? it's a little train you take, and you go over and there's some like goats and stuff. I don't think it's for today. Soon, you're gonna have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage. To do this is by being matched to something called an avatar. This flight of passage was so good. I think the best way to do that ride is like just to let your imagination just go with it, you know? Um, but it was great. Oh, they've got a magic band actually. Look at this, Benj. It's pretty magic band. Oh, wow. Really pretty magic band. Right, we're gonna go and do the Lion King show. It's the best, next best solution in the rain. But that's okay, not far. Oh, okay. It's bad. This could be the worst weather <laughs> we've ever had. La, 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 la. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. I am so wet. See, the, the water on the floor is just over our shoes. <laughs> okay, we're finally inside, absolutely soaking wet. Everyone is soaked. <laughs> But I've just pulled out my hoodie, which is nice and dry. My dress is, oh, you can't see it because it's black, but it is dripping wet. One and all to the festival of the Lion King.
Oh, I love the festival of the Lion so King. Good. It's so good. So, so, so colourful and fun and just a lovely representation of the songs in the Lion King. Yeah. It has stopped raining, which is nice. And we're now going to go and try and do Everest and then hopefully get called for Nomad Lounge because I put us on the wait list. It was a 50 minute wait. So by the time we did the show, done a ride, we should get called. So We're due, but we haven't been called yet. So I expect people yeah. to be hiding from the rain, aren't they? Yeah, it was estimated 50 minutes and it has been that. So we should get called soon. Um, but we just thought we'd add it as something to do in case it carried on raining. No one's but doing actual outdoor rides at the moment. So what is it, 10 minute? Three minute wait for Everest, Everest yeah. yeah. Because it's a bit dark and gloomy, they've got all the lights on and it's so pretty. I don't think they usually have these on in the daytime. Yeah, we did this the other day, Feathered Friends in Flight. Really it's brilliant. Really did you? Yeah. yeah, it was good. Look at this, I love it. Oh, oh Mickey's coming good. down with Pluto. <laughs> Well, it's been nightmare in the autumn when all them leaves fall off. Oh, what is it with you and this tree? Winding us all up. We know the leaves don't fall. We know it didn't grow with carvings in it. We have been called for Nomad Lounge. So we're gonna go in, even if we just have a drink, because we are eating dinner in two hours. <laughs> two and a half, so maybe a light snack. Well, this is a bit cute. Oh, it's a band. So Benji's got a leaping lizard. Really Is it? Yeah. It's like Malibu and pineapple, I think. And I've got an iced tea, and they give you the vanilla sweetener on the side. Yeah. Pour it in. Oh my god, that's amazing. Mm. Yeah, I want more of that good, good <laughs> vanilla Stop. sweetener. I know you don't like iced tea, but you should try that. It's so sweet and nice. Ooh. Good yeah. Enough. That's strong. We've got the Cuban fritter sliders, so we've got one each with some potato. I will say it did take mm. quite a long time. Oh, these umming it took about 40 minutes. Oh, wow. Mmm. Do you know what that tastes like? It's obviously meat, but it tastes like a spicy bean burger. Yeah. Like a vegetarian spicy Yeah, I know what you burger. mean. That's really tasty. There's loads of flavour in that. Better than the ones at Space 220? Different. They're not different. Better, not worse. Yeah. That was very nice. Another lounge experience complete. Really enjoyed that. I'd say that um, cider was such a Great. lovely flavour. Great it wasn't food. Like, but burgers are just like meaty and no real flavour. Yeah. But that had lots of flavour in it. A nice little light bite. I think we'll definitely go to Tiffin's on the next trip. Yeah. Because the quality of the food there was just brilliant. So yeah, really, yeah. really nice. Um, but now we're saying goodbye to Animal Kingdom. Your favourite. My favourite. It's been a wet weird last day yeah. but we've done we've done everest as well yeah, we, before we did all the things that we wanted to do at the start didn't we? we achieved all of that oh we've got to say goodbye to the tree the one last look we do this so that we can soak up the memory bye tree <laughs> soak it all up oh we were gonna go in the shot and then we spotted a pin board we haven't done any pin training for a couple of days have we Hi, yeah, uh, we've seen a few of them. Look, there's a Donald oh, there too. Nice. And there's also a Cinderella one. Oh, look, really cute. We traded for the Donald. There were three different ones that were similar sort of design, but they were so cute. Okay, I'm not being funny, but these are just so weird looking. Like, why is he so sad? Uh, and they, their heads bob. Just as we're leaving, Benji spots uh, an anteater in the bushes. Up to thirty thousand pounds a day. What? So we have about thirty minutes to kill. So we've come into the shops at the Contemporary. I've had a quick outfit change into a different dress. That's so cute. I don't know what you do with that, but it's fun. I like it. A few days ago, we bought this spirit jersey for me, and I absolutely love it. I'll talk about this more in a haul. Um, but we've been hunting out all the new Disney 100 merch, and this is new today. Little snow globe that we found. <laughs> of course, they um, wheel out the rain jackets. <laughs> love it though. Oh wow! What is that? Maybe. Oh, it must be in other like t like oh, Tokyo right, and yeah, maybe. look, Hong Kong. That's nice. I love the art. Love, love, love. 
Benji absolutely loves sugar cookies, so we're going to get those. And I also want to get this caramel butter bar. I'm very happy I packed an extra dress. I'm wearing this one from NEX, and we're just waiting to go into Steakhouse 71. It's been such a lovely day, despite the rain. We've met a lovely viewer a minute ago. I'm just sat by a tree. I'm just so happy. And I'm going to order fillet steak and mac and cheese because that's what I want. It is time for Steakhouse 71. Look at these photos on the wall. You like a bit of history, don't you? Yeah. Look at your three cabrieros at the top there. We'll have to have a look at these probably when we come out. Oh, wow. Look at those. Seeing as we're waiting for our table and they have a lounge here, I thought I'd show you. They do mac and cheese, onion rings, a burger, so if you were looking for another lounge, Steakhouse 71 has one. The bar is really nice, look at that. And then the restaurant is just over there. We're waiting for our table, just chilling. So here is the menu. We both have our eye on the French onion soup, maybe. There's loads of stuff I like on there, actually. Yeah, there's a few things I'd have as well. And then uh, for the mains, I'm having a sirloin steak, or a fillet. No, I'm gonna have a fillet and I'm gonna have potato and mac and cheese on the side and then you pick your sauce. Oh wow, look at the potato, the steak, and then we're gonna share that mac and cheese. We're gonna do what, sorry? We are sharing. If it, they put it on my plate. Uh, excuse me, oh, no. <laughs> it looks incredible. What an amazing last dinner. 9.4. Wow, that's high for you. Really good. Really good. Really good. No. Nine solid, could have done with some veggies. I do appreciate I could have ordered them veggies. <laughs> However, I didn't, and now I think maybe I could have had veggies. I agree, it did need really, some really veggie on steak. the side. Really it was a gorgeous steak, yeah. Potato gratin, very nice. Mac and cheese was good to share. It was good. I, I never had mac and cheese at home at all. Out I've here it's had good. It like four or five times out here. Haven't mac I? and cheese out here is amazing. Yeah, it was stunning. Really, really good. A really nice bit of steak, like a beautiful piece of meat. It's probably one of the best bits of steak I've ever had. It's just gone through his payment. Right. <laughs> Pretty reasonable as well. We didn't have any cocktails or any alcohol. We just had um, Sprite and Coke, and she refilled it as well. Don't know if it's unlimited refills on the soft drinks, but we're here for it. Would recommend. I'm glad we switched from breakfast, although I'm sure breakfast is great as well. Are we now monorailing to Magic and then going back? Yeah. Yeah. We spent quite a bit of time here in the Contemporary. I don't love this hotel if I'm honest, but... Sorry. I don't like the look of it whatsoever, but the stuff that's in is quite good. Good, yeah. So we've taken a little detour because we figured we'd have to monorail four stops all the way around to Magic Kingdom and then wait for a bus and the park has just closed. So that route, that journey, would have taken us... An hour? At least. Easily. Um, we, we knew the buses would be just not a fun time so we've got off one stop come to the ticket and transportation center we're going to monorail to epcot walk through the park to the skyliner and skyliner back we didn't have dessert so i'm just munching on the caramel bar that benji bought me earlier you can get these in epcot in the germany pavilion and it's the werther's they call it butter bar and it's basically like just very thin shortbread on the bottom with caramel and it's just amazing so I'm waiting for the monorail with my snack happy days wow look at the view oh my gosh you've not done this before are you, look. are you filming me or the, the actual view no the actual view. What about you? behave we've made it to epcot and the ball looks amazing the christmas music is such a nice vibe i love the way it changes look at that oh it's just so much more impressive in person i promise <laughs> Lovely. 
we have finally made it bop, uh, bop, back, <laughs> back to pop century. We're gonna pack our suitcases and go to sleep, but tomorrow we're gonna be doing Magic Kingdom, showing you what we do on our final day. Good morning, everyone. We are off to Magic Kingdom this morning, which makes the most sense for the last day, but let me know where do you spend your last Disney days. I want to try and ride Splash Mountain as it's being rethemed, so this will be our last chance to ride it before it changes. I am really excited about the new Tiana re-theme, but you know, it, Splash Mountain's a classic. We'll be taking our luggage to the luggage storage area at Pop. We're going into the parks, leaving around half 12, getting back here, getting picked up by the Sunshine Flyer. If you saw our first travel day out, we used the Sunshine Flyer over Ms. Connect. They basically do the same thing. And then we've got our flight home with Virgin. We're flying premium economy. That is everything I was gonna tell you. Gonna pack up our final things. It took us quite a while to pack last night, I'm not gonna lie. We're all packed up. I've done that check. We're going home with these two big normal cases. These two little cases that we're checking in. That's today's park bag, clothes for travel home, ornaments and things that I didn't want to get damaged. <laughs> Hand luggage, yeah, and I have one on my back as well. All right, let's go. Pop, you've been fabulous. I really enjoyed it, huh? Loved it. We haven't done an early morning in Magic Kingdom, have we? No. Oh, it's lovely. It's nice and peaceful. It's a Friday. It's a party day, so it should be fairly quiet. Yeah, people will be coming in late to stay up late, won't they? or people that aren't in the party generally avoid Magic Kingdom, we found. So the park is quieter. So if you're happy doing a park day from like eight till six, then good day to come. It's definitely the chilliest day today, isn't it? It is, the temperature is definitely dropping today. And I looked at the weather, next week they're going into minus temperatures and it's been like 20 degrees pretty much every day for That's us. That's what the weather, I personally, I can't see it. I can't see that it can drop that much. Neither can I, but. but Lots of people wearing jumpers and jeans today. So I did pack jeans and everyone told me that it would be chilly and I was kind of looking forward to like wrapping up, but actually it's not been like that. So you haven't got the umbrella in there, no you? umbrella today. You must take your umbrellas out your bags. Security, otherwise they'll pull you away. I am obsessed. I wish we could have done the train. Yeah, it's I not open yet. We got a little escape when it was too hot in the park, wasn't it? We can compromise and do the Liberty Bell. Yes. <laughs> We'll do the Liberty Bell. Can you hear the Christmas oh, music? Oh, he's got a Marvel tea on today. Where do we get that? Oh! We're going straight to the Emporium because I bought a spirit jersey and it seems to be going in and out of stock quite a lot. You bought the extra large, but you need a large, don't you? Ideally, ideally. And it was the only one that they had loads of mediums, or not, no, a few mediums left. Loads of extras, loads of smalls, extra smalls. No larges. Zero larges. This holiday backpack's got 30% off. I've seen loads of people wearing it. It's so cute. Is it a large? It's a large. Yay! We can swap mine then. Ooh. Right, let me try it on just to check. We found the ears this morning, but I just don't know. I'm not sure. I don't love the button. I don't love that 100 button in the middle, but they've been so popular, they've been selling out really quick. And also, because this is like multicolored, you've got loads of different ears that would go with this anyway. Yeah, but they, they are these. cute. They are cute, and I'm wearing purple today, so they kind of match. Uh, uh, I don't I don't need them. I'm gonna get this pin for a friend, though. No Mickey one. Oh, I'm gonna miss this so much. I absolutely love what they've done with the castle for 50th. It looks so beautiful, but we've done some lovely pictures. <laughs> We had a moment where no one was around, yeah, so we yeah. just took it. I can't believe how done it is. It's so quiet, it's lovely. Splash Mountain is a five minute wait. Five minutes. So we're gonna go do that, but first, I'm hungry. So we're gonna go to Sleepy Hollow and get some waffles. I'm very excited about it. So let's jump on mobile order. We've got Mickey shaped waffles. They do these, this is what I want. This fresh fruit sandwich, funnel cakes. Yeah, just have a Mickey waffle. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna, get the one that I want, the fresh fruit. I am obsessed with mobile order, like the queue was huge. Just did it quickly and it's already been called. It's so much better, I swear to you. Don't wait in the queues if they have a mobile order. This is the breakfast of dreams. We've got Mickey shaped waffle for Ben and the fruit waffle for me with the Nutella in it and I got a hot chocolate. Benji's just cleaned the table, bless him. And this is what we're gonna have for breakfast. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Of course, nobody wants to do uh, Splash Mountain when it's kind of chilly. It's quite cold, but it's the last time that 
You can do it, you know. Five minute wait. It looks like they're testing the train. Oh, oh my gosh. It's here. There's no one on it. They're still testing it. But it's going round. We're going the back row because it's where you get the least wet. <laughs> the last time we're going to do it is Splash. I'm glad we got to do one more. Yes. One more hurrah. <laughs> Look at Bobbin. I'm waiting for a That's You. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they retheme this. It's going to be really good. <laughs> We're not doing Big Thunder, but 20 minute wait. Are you joking? I absolutely love Big Thunder. We might do it later, but I want to try and do Peter Pan's flight because Benji still hasn't done it. We've been talking about going on the Liberty Bell this whole trip. It's so beautiful. And we've always talked about it, so we're making it a priority. So they said it takes, oh, it takes 20 minutes to go around. And they leave every half an hour. Wow. Look at the view. That is stunning. Oh. Wow. I missed the horn. Is that it? Thank you, babe. No worries. Exactly like it. underneath an animatronic. It's a tiny little detail, but it's just... The dog's tail's wearing you. Oh, yeah. Aww. That's so cute. There it is! The train! This is such an underrated activity. I love it. You can't see any of this stuff from where, you know, where we are normally. Wow. Answer the call. I love this song. Can you see the characters just down there in the parade? Oh, just as we get up, we're gonna see them in their 50th outfits. Do you even Disney if you don't use the tangled toilets at least once? Look at the tower and the detailing and the theming. It's just all so good. And there's a really cute wall around here too. Take a photo. Look at the doors as well. So good. It is time for Peter Pan's flight. Go upside down. Yeah. And off we go. Is that pretty? Over London. Ironically, we are going to actually fly over that in about 10 hours. <laughs> Lovely. Look at the animatronics. <laughs> no. I need you all to know that he is the biggest shop hunter. Like, he will seek out every shop. We've been in here before. This is after Philharmagic, yeah. I like that t-shirt. Castles. All the different castles. That's cute, isn't it? That'd make a really nice pyjama top. It is 20 past 11, and we're gonna need to leave in about an hour. So the last things that we want to do is get cheeseburger spring rolls, which we showed the other day. They're at a little trolley cart uh, in Adventureland. We're gonna find a little spot on the grass, on the hub here, because it's so quiet and nice. Oh, isn't this nice? Isn't this nice? It's like a little picnic. What picnic is it packed for us? Well? A, a fat cheeseburger spring rolls. Oh, that's good, isn't it? And that's it, I'm afraid. <laughs> Finished our cheeseburger spring rolls. Looking at the castle. Not a cloud in the sky. I love this little hub area. Yeah. Sit on the grass. Everyone always defaults to the tables, but it's chaos around all the tables. It always smells absolutely incredible when we walk past here. This is for the 50th. It's a 
root beer float with vanilla ice cream. Ooh, wow. That is incredible. All right, what we came in here for though was photo frames. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, they've got some really nice ones, haven't they? At the back here, you can see them. <laughs> you can see them glass blowing. Wow. So clever. I think this is fascinating. I really love this little carousel bag. How adorable is that? Benji said it's too impractical, which is fair. You're gonna see in my haul, which by the way, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the haul, but you'll see that I've fallen in love with these. So I bought some in Target. My favorite are the caramel ones, the dark blue, but these crunchy cookie may be taking the lead. So, oops, I need to drop them then. They're great. So I was having this conversation with somebody on Instagram, but they've changed the stick. It take those packaging? I don't because know. It, it, you, you save an inch, don't you? I don't know why, but it's super annoying. So when you go to take a photo of it, Mickey's upside down. Like it's just really bugging me. Yeah, but the marshmallow one is this still like that. I don't know, it's really annoying. So the Festival of Fancy is, uh, the parade is coming down. Uh, we weren't gonna stay and watch it, but we've seen it so many times. And I think we'd rather just dip out before it gets busy, but we always do our one last look, as you all know. Oh, I'm really sad. <laughs> I always get so sad to leave. Ah, oh, gets me every time. I think you know it's gonna be a while now as well. I th so. it's, it is gonna be a while, yeah. I think as well, it looks even better with the Christmas decorations. I think that's what it is. Yeah, it's been so much fun. Bye bye castle. Bye castle. Bye Mickey. It's been fun. As Ben said, we may as well take this moment to say that we're going to be going back to Disneyland Paris next year. We are. We have it booked. We're very excited. We have uh, a couple of days in Disneyland Paris. So by the time that this vlogs out, it'll only be less than a month, won't yes. it? Yes. Yeah, it will be a couple of weeks away after this last vlog. So if you've loved our Walt Disney World vlogs and you want some more, have no fear because we will be doing this on Paris. Make sure you subscribe <laughs> to see them. Please do subscribe um, because I'm so close to 100,000 subscribers too and I'd love to have you here and I appreciate it very much. I love that plaque that's up there. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow and fantasy. Is there anything better than walking towards your bus stop and the bus pulling in as you get there? Love it. Love that for us. And it's a Mickey one for the last bus. So we're back at the resort and something we haven't done is walked over to Art of Animation. We've been meaning to do it the whole time. It just feels a bit newer, I think, in comparison to Pop. Because we've got all the balconies on the outside, whereas it's all on the inside here, it's just windows. Oh. That's oh, what yeah. we call internal. Oh internal. yeah. It's so cool. All the theming and Nemo in the middle there, it's so good. Oh wow, I really love it. It's amazing how it, I just thought it'd feel exactly the same as Pop, but it doesn't. Similar, like similar brand name, huh? It's actually got a little bit more, the pool's a bit bigger. Oh wow, the shop is good too. Oh, what are those is? Oh look, they're out of animation ears. I changed colour. Oh, they're really cool. Oh, I just went to use the bathroom and look at these. Big aerial piece of art on there. Oh, look at the towels. Oh, that's so cute. It is time. Sunshine flyer. Bye, Pop Century. It's been a blast. Let's get on board. Apparently it's not a full bus, so I can bring my stuff on. Benji just said it's so weird being here now. I love this airport. I don't know what it is. It's just that feeling you get when you get here. It just feels so good. It feels like you're going to Disney when you arrive here. I underestimated how much stuff we had. <laughs> One last shop. We've been looking for this t-shirt in a large. They do not have it. So nice though. Oh, haven't seen this one. Mini. So the Virgin check-in desk is to the left there, but we are in premium. So we've got this little section here and it was lovely and quiet as you can see. So we were able to just sort out some of our stuff, but it, we were all pretty much under every case was under, wasn't it? We were all good, but we do have two hand luggage each. So let's just hope no one questions yeah. that. <laughs> all right, security was pretty smooth. Took about 10 minutes. Nice day for a flight. Yeah. 
Yeah. It is quarter to three. We have to be at the gate at 20 to five. So we're just waiting for a table at this outback place. We we're both just saying that obviously we're always sad when a trip comes to an end. It doesn't matter where we go or what we do, but also really grateful because it's been amazing. And we're going back to our Bonnie girl and it's Christmas next week. So what way to beat blues than to just celebrate and have a lovely time. And hopefully you've seen all these vlogs. <laughs> I would have been editing them a month ago now at this point. Um, so yeah, I just can't believe it's time to go. Okay, we've been seated, it took about 15 minutes, and I'm just deciding what I want. I quite like the sound of the chicken Caesar wrap in the bottom right hand corner. Here's our pre-flight din late lunch early dinner. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a burger, I've got a chicken Caesar wrap. It smells good. I've got Dumbo in my arms. <laughs> but that meal was nice. Really good, my burger was really good. Yeah, it was good. It was um yeah, it was just what we need really. Sat there for an hour and now we're going to the gate. So I'm ready. Yeah. I might need one last wee, but we'll get to the gate I first. Need a bit as well. <laughs> the nervous like last one, just the last one. You wanna have a comfortable one before you crammed into that shed on the Tiny floor. little toilet, yeah. I am in my cozy clothes now. I was gonna stay in my jumpsuit, but it's actually really chilly in the airport. So I'm back in the hoodie that I wore on the way out here. I literally only had it on through the airport on the other side. So I've got this back on. It says time to sparkle it was from H&M and I love it because it's nice and long. And then on the bottom here, I'm real cozy because I'm wearing Lululemon, like, they're not leggings. They're actually, I've got them, they're new. They're like traveler trousers. They're so comfy and I've got my long compression socks on because my feet have swollen in the past so every long haul flight I wear them and I also have my new crocs on that I've talked about. They are so cute. Anyway, hopefully we're boarding soon. Alright, we've sat down. We are in premium again. It is a very busy plane. Here's the menu for the return flight in case you're interested. We've got so the butter chicken curry. I will say that this is quite a helpful hack because I have literally just pinned my iPad in there so that we can both watch National Treasure. Benji's got his on his iPad and I've got mine on mine. So yeah, we're gonna get straight into watching this until we get served our food. I'm gonna get my blanket out. Oh, he's going. <laughs> our meal has just arrived, it's quarter eight. And we pre-ordered the chicken curry. I've got a little chocolate treat. Benji's got me a dairy milk. And I've got a hot chocolate in a proper mug. And I'm watching the Harry and Meghan documentary. It's several hours later, almost 1.15, but obviously five hours ahead for UK will be landing soon. And I've got a waffle for breakfast. Got some yogurt and some fruit. And an orange juice. Very nice. We've just landed. Yes. Looking a little bit ropey and tired, but we landed safely. 7:45. Let's do the day. Good. So we're finally at the end of the Disney vlogs and I just wanted to say thank you so, so, so much for watching. If you got this far and you watched them all, I appreciate it so much and it's been a joy editing and sharing these videos and documenting our trip. I hope you've enjoyed them. Thank you if you joined us in the live streams that we did with the premieres on each vlog. If you commented, if you have liked the videos, if you've subscribe because you've seen these videos thank you so 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 much it means a lot to us we are of course planning our next disney trip already we'll be heading off to disneyland paris very soon so if you want more disney magic make sure you do hit subscribe and don't miss our disneyland paris vlog series that we will have coming up very very soon in the next few weeks i really really can't wait it doesn't feel real yet yeah we're really looking forward to that and of course we always have other things we're working on and other trips and experiences and adventures so if you are here for disney stuff then thank you but hopefully you'll stick around and enjoy all the other content we share here on this channel i'll just leave it here because there's so much i want to say but i'm going to keep it for my q a video which is coming up and i've got a haul like i said so keep an eye out for those but yeah just another massive thank you and hopefully you've enjoyed this vlog series and we'll see you again in the next ones thanks for watching bye